Hey guys, welcome back and welcome to the Sunday section of what I'm considering my Christmas reactions, I guess. I didn't know what I was going to originally do, like if I was going to have any sort of theme going, except for my Tuesdays with Maury. All Tuesdays are still Morissette reactions. But I wanted to filter in Gabriel Henrique in here as well, but I had already pretty much had my lineup. But then some stuff happened, like some some trivia games and stuff that I had lined up aside from the video that went live yesterday. Um, they just, I just couldn't get into them. Like one was super easy and then one was just kind of meh and I was just like, I'm done. I think the movie, the one movie trivia game that I had is really all that's gonna be on this channel uh, for this year as far as, you know, Christmas related games. The rest of it is going to be reactions I might have some bonus videos here and there that I might find a decent trivia game, but I don't know. I don't know. But I decided that because Gabriel Henrique started off as a gospel singer and he has a huge repertoire of gospel songs and religious songs, I figured I would save Sundays for those types of songs and I am going to make, from here on out, Sunday is going to be Gabriel Henrique Day. It might not be a religious song per se, but Sundays are going to be reserved for Gabriel Henrique because like Morissette, I have so many reactions to him that I need to get to. It's just unreal. So there for like two or three weeks, I had three days in a row of Gabriel Henrique because I just couldn't stop recording reactions to him. Um, but I think I've... I think I've kind of calmed down just just a hair. I, I still am like riding the Gabriel Henrique wave of oh my god he's amazing. I think I've, I've calmed down a little bit that I can I I figured out that I have a day specifically reserved for him and it's going to be on Sundays. If he has a new release come out that I just I can't wait until this a Sunday to schedule it then I will go ahead and react to it and get it up as soon as possible. Um, probably on a Wednesday. Wednesdays are I call them whatever Wednesday, so just whatever I decide to react to. It might fall on a Wednesday, which is perfectly fine. Um, but for my first video of him for the month of December, he just released um, he just released a cover of Oh Holy Night in the style of Mariah Carey, so I am anticipating a whistle note because there is a whistle note in Mariah Carey's version and because I've seen in the comments that there's a whistle note and that this particular cover of his is amazing and I just can't wait. So we're just going to jump into it right now. like super auto focused that was such a clean run and slide he just did oh it was it was perfect that was perfect I loved that so so much I need to open that in another window so I don't lose my place this part right here oh, no. 
divine oh nah. oh it's so nice he did the projection on the word divine and then he did that little run lilt thing on the word oh Oh, it just sounds so nice. I loved it so much. He's kind of like Morissette at this point in my reaction game when it comes to him as an artist. I think I know what he's gonna do, but sometimes he surprises me. And like, but sometimes he surprises me, sort of like Morissette. Just as soon as I think I have her figured out, she does something completely like, whoa, and throws me off. That was just so clean and so pretty. And I don't know if it's because this is a him or whatever, and since he is a gospel singer, I'm not sure. But he doesn't speak English from what I read in the comments. He doesn't speak English very well, uh, if, if at all. He just can sing some songs in English. But I can hear his accent in this song, but not as strong as like in other songs. So I don't know if maybe in Brazil, if they sing hymns in English, I don't, I don't know. So maybe that's why this song sounds a little more I don't want to say coherent because I can understand him when he sings in English, but his accent isn't as thick in this song, is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, continuing. goodness his range is something else and you know what being you know three months postpartum I thought maybe all the hormones got out of my system and I wasn't gonna be so sensitive to whistle notes but here we are <laughs> still got a little misty oh my gosh he's so good that was just so perfect like I have no no words I, I just uh, I just noticed that my shirt says OMG. It's from Elf. It's it's from Elf. It says Oh my God, Santa. Elf is my favorite Christmas movie. So anyway, but I just I don't I don't know I don't know what else to say except ah oh, those whistles were so clean. He did some really pretty little lilts, but like on like how he's saying the word Oh night. 
Like the way he sang the word oh, it was very clean and he just did this pretty little lilt to get up there and then and then for the word night he sort of like brought it down and says oh night it just it just sounded so nice and like all of the runs that he he's like he can do so many fast runs like it's it's oh man I can tell, I can tell in the way he decides to sing a song, especially Whitney Houston songs, but I can definitely tell that Whitney Houston is a huge inspiration to him because he has, he does these vocal runs that are very similar to how I think she would have done a song maybe. So for, for me also being a huge Whitney Houston fan, he's very aware of how she would possibly arrange a song. And I, I hear that in his songs, even if it's not a Whitney Houston song, like this was the Mariah Carey version. But, oh my gosh, I really don't know how, I, I really don't have anything else to say except everything that he did in this song was perfectly placed and it sounded so glorious and this makes me very happy that this is the first song that is going up on a Sunday for my month of December of Christmas songs. So, also, Oh Holy Night has been like, again, like last year, most requested even by a plethora of artists. So I have, I think, four performances of Oh Holy Night going out uh, for this month. Uh, but I do, I did try to space them out like at least a week, at least a week apart. So this is the first one. This is the first Oh Holy Night. The next one is gonna be So Hyang on, I think I'm saying that right, So Hyang on, um, I think it was the I Am Singer show. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but hers goes out on Saturday, and then and then the following week is Katrina Velarde with Acapelago, I think is how you say it. And then the last one is going to be on Christmas Eve, and it's going to be Elaine Duran's cover of Oh Holy Night. So I tried to space them out, you know, at least a week. Some of them go a little longer, some of them have a little shorter gap in between. But I didn't want to load them one on top of the other, because that would be too much. So I did want to space them out a little bit. But that's been it for this video. If you like these kinds of videos where I react to things and if you want to stick around for the whole month of December is all Christmas songs, um, then please consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when I have new videos coming out and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!